I'm really annoyed. You wanna know why I'm annoyed? Because you came to this video because you need more work. That bothers me. Do you know why? Well, it's because I care. Seeing graphic designers be starving artists is one of the most frustrating things. And I know how frustrating it is because I lived it. I walked it out myself. I'm thankfully no longer having to do that because I've leveled up the people around me. I've been able to delegate to people. And these challenges in my business are something I've been able to solve by surrounding myself with great people and knowing where to hunt and where to farm. Finding work should not be something that's that complicated for you. You just gotta know where to hunt and where to farm. So in this video, I'm gonna give you four resources, four ways to bring in more graphic design work in 2022 than you've done previously. Now you may have used one of these in the past, but you haven't probably used it effectively. So I'm gonna go through all four of these in depth and I'm gonna give you a quick understanding of how to get the most out of these as possible. All right, so the first way to get more graphic design work, web design work, motion design work, is understanding where your ideal clients are and where they are is probably on LinkedIn. So number one is LinkedIn. This is a social media platform for the business to business marketplace. If you're not actively messaging and building relationships on LinkedIn, what is wrong with you? Like seriously, you need to be on LinkedIn. I don't wanna hear excuses about how LinkedIn's boring or LinkedIn's this or LinkedIn's that. LinkedIn is your place. If you're a creative, if you're a designer, that is where your clients are. That is where the clients that are gonna pay you what you're worth are. That is where the relationships are gonna be formed. They can bring you other relationships that you didn't even think were possible. Large companies, large clients with large budgets. And so the first place for you to start is on LinkedIn. Now, if you're gonna use LinkedIn, you need to understand what works and what doesn't work. And I don't have time to go in depth because I've done that on other videos, but to keep it as simple as possible is you need to build real friendships. Just because it's a business platform, they're still people. This is one of the secret ingredients of why I do so well is because I love people. It doesn't matter if they're a professional, if they're a nonprofit person, if they're a, a, a nun or a, or a pastor, it doesn't matter. I love to get to know people. I wanna understand them. I wanna help them. I wanna know where their challenges are. I wanna know that they're, they're great at, what makes them up in the morning. These are all important questions that I ask them and I like to ask myself. And this is something that you can do on LinkedIn. First, what you're gonna to wanna to do is connect with people. So that's step one is connecting with people. Go check out their profile, actually look for people that fit your same core values. Maybe that have the same kind of background or maybe that have um, work at a company that you're really passionate about. There are tons of different ways to target people on LinkedIn. There's a really nice little search feature that you can use right at the top under people and you can filter it down and really find people in your area. Maybe it's just people in your community that you wanna connect with on LinkedIn. This is a really good way and the people that are, are active on LinkedIn are gonna understand what you understand after watching this video, that LinkedIn is a powerful revenue generating and lead generating tool for you. The second piece to this is once you've actually connected with them, do not pitch them, do not send them a four paragraph message. All you need to do is introduce yourself, say, hey, thanks so much for connecting. I'm really grateful to meet you and I'm curious, you know, what got you into this or what is it that wakes you up every morning? Like ask them a question. Every good relationship that I've ever been in, that I've ever had, whether it's somebody on my team or somebody out in the day-to-day -day life of what I'm doing in my personal life, it always started with some sort of question. Hey, how's it going? I'm Adrian. Uh, what do you do for a living, right? Obviously on LinkedIn, you're gonna be able to know that already, so you're gonna to need to do that due diligence, but find something that is something that you love about them and point that out. Hey, I really watched uh, what you said to this person on this comment, or hey, I really love this post that you put out, or hey, I really love that video that you shared. Anything to show them that you actually care because you genuinely need to care. If you're just doing this for the money, you're not my person. You can just click off this video right now. But if you actually care about people, you wanna help the world become a better place with your skills and your talents, LinkedIn is an amazing place to do that. And you're gonna to have to go out there and build some real relationships. Once you've built that relationship equity and you've built that friendship with them, that is your opportunity to say, hey, I'd love to go deeper. Would you be interested in hopping on a call with me? I'd love to just see if there's some synergies here. I already see that we have some common interests. I'd love to get on a call with you and do a discovery call. Keep that discovery call short. Make sure you have an easy way for them to book at a convenient time for them. So what you can do is use something like Calendly. Send them a Calendly link, say, hey, I would just love to chat with you for 15 minutes. If there's nothing for us, I'll never bug you again, but I just wanna get on the phone with you and you know, see, or maybe we get on a Zoom with you and build this friendship, build this relationship. Let me know if that would be something you'd be open to. And usually people will say yes. Now you're gonna get everybody to say yes, but a certain amount of people will say yes. And remember, it's a numbers game. And if you give up after a week, after two weeks, or after a month, 
that's on you. And that's also on you why you're in the position looking for more graphic design work is because you haven't been taking action where you need to consistently. And I've done this myself. I'm literally talking to myself here at the same time. Step two is building a funnel. If you have never built a funnel before and you have no clue of what to do, that's okay because there's gonna be a video coming for you on that. But a funnel is a series and a journey that you take your potential prospect, somebody who doesn't know who you are, all the way to a closed deal, is what does that journey look like? Some of it uses email automations and nurturing sequences and things like that. And the biggest piece of it is education. If you wanna separate yourself from everybody else in the marketplace and not just say, hey, I do logos for 150 bucks, or hey, I do logos for 50 bucks, or hey, I do websites for 250 bucks, and be that guy that's just blasting stuff all over your timeline, and you actually wanna bring in real clients who respect your talent, your time, and your experience, then you're gonna wanna go out and educate the marketplace because there's a lot of really bad information out there. And that's what I'm doing here with YouTube is I'm educating and helping level up the marketplace. And when I do that, in return, I get subscribers, I get people in my community, I get all kinds of benefits from that that I'm able to turn into revenue. And so what I want you to do is use this funnel as an education-based lead magnet. You have an area of expertise in something. I don't know what that is. It could be graphic design, logo design, web design, motion design. It could be funnels. Maybe it's a funnel knowledge that you have. You need to take that knowledge and document it. And part of documenting it is putting it onto documentation and itemizing everything that you know about and then going into a, a deep discovery on each of those and then creating that document so that it can be visually appealing and actually go out to the public as an info product. Info products are very powerful. It's a way that you can build your email list. You give out this info product that you spent 10, 20, 30, 50 hours on, and in return, you get an email and you get them to be part of your community or you get them to be part of your email list. And then the more you stay in touch with them, the better, the more value you deliver to them, then eventually when you put out an offer, they will buy from you at their time not yours. So this is something to think about. You really need to build a funnel in 2022. And if you haven't done so already, this is your opportunity to do that this year. And I can help you with the videos that are coming in the week. And if you need help one-on-one, -on -one, all you got to do is reach out to me. So I'm curious, have you ever built a funnel or not? Definitely drop down a comment down below. Maybe you have a website, but you don't have a funnel and you don't even know what kind of funnel you would build. What skill sets can you share? What knowledge can you share to actually create a funnel and actually make money? What's the offer, right? Well, I'll be helping you with all that. All you gotta do is drop a comment down below, introduce yourself, and we're gonna be doing some trainings in the Instagraphics Pro Network here real soon. So number three is an easy one. You ready for this? Super easy. Ask for referrals. It's really easy. All you gotta do is ask your friends, your colleagues, your coworkers, people that you have in your community, people on Facebook, ask them, hey, look, I'm really trying to level up this year and I'm looking for five people to do this for. I'm willing to offer it at a discounted price just for them because they came from you or I'm willing to kick you back something. Like make it incentivized for them as well, but say, hey, I'm looking for three referrals. Hey, if you hook me up with a referral, I'd be happy to do a free design for you. Or hey, if you get me three referrals, I'd be happy to print you a free set of business cards. Or hey, you give me three referrals and I'll make you a custom video intro, right? Incentivize people to give you referrals and actually give them a system to do that. So you can create a Google form and ask and have three fields for them to fill out of three friends that they think that would be good to reach out to. You can also utilize this on LinkedIn. So one of the things that I did is I went to my LinkedIn profile and said, hey, Timothy, can I reach out to all your people you're connected to and see if they're interested in any of my design work? He said, yes. I went to all of Timothy's connections, the thousands of connections that Timothy had and said, hey man, Timothy recommended that you and I connect. I do graphics. I'm really highly specialized in brand identity and brand strategy. I looked at some of your stuff and I could see you may need some help. I'd love to just help you for free. If you'd be interested in that, please reach out to me. Boom, right? I got a bunch of people off of that. So this is just an example that I wanted to give you of asking for referrals on LinkedIn, over the phone, on social media, face to face. If you don't ask, you'll never receive. So you need to go out there and ask for referrals. And I usually ask anyone for people anywhere from three to seven referrals, just depending on the kind of person. But this is where I've been able to build to the place that I have today and get over 5,000 clients because every client always sends me one or two people and that's just part of my business model. All right, the last step is networking. If you're not out there networking, not just in Facebook groups, but in face-to-face -face environments like chambers of commerce and conferences and webinars and uh, meetup groups and, and anything that you can get into, BNIs, LATIPs, if you're not out there networking with people on a daily or weekly basis, day-to-day -day or weekly basis, this is a problem. This is why your funnel and your pipeline is empty. 
You need to go out and put yourself out there and tell people about what you do and why you do it. This is an important piece too. They don't care about just what you do. They want to know why are you doing it? Well, you know, I worked for an agency that was ripping people off and doing really low quality work with people overseas. And I just didn't want to do that or they outsourced my job or whatever the reason is, you need to have a strong why. And if you don't have a why, I have a video for that as well that we can put, but it's important for you to actually get face to face with people, build those relationships, shake the hands and get to know people and share what you do mastermind groups, communities like we have with Instagraphics. There's so many ways to do this, but you need to go out there and take the action to make this happen. So those are my four tips. I would love to know which one do you think was most impactful for you? Because I will make a specific training and go super deep on just one of those for you if you'd like. So I'm going to be creating a lot of new content in 2022. I would love your feedback. If you have any questions, if you have a video that you would like me to make for you, please drop a comment down below as well. I want to hear from you. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the Instagraphics Pro Network on Facebook. If you're not already there, make sure you join us. I would love to have you there. Fill out all the questions and we'll let you in. We're doing amazing things. we got at events, all kinds of cool stuff coming up. I don't have time to go into it today, but I will see you guys on the next video. I'm Adrian Boysell, and as always, keep looking up.